Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty and it's becoming more and more hectic. It's exactly what I forecasted at the beginning of the game. This is a micromanagement disaster. Four different uh, teams, hundreds of bases to manage and so on and so forth and maybe it's just me playing the game the wrong way but it feels like there is continuously something that is keeping you on the edge. If you thought that XCOM 2 was bad, this year <clears throat> is way less streamlined. Okay, today we're going to go into yet another scavenging site, and we need that mission because we need resources, as you can tell, after our base in the US had been attacked and we successfully defended with the last minute kind of creation of uh, armor. This is as good as it gets for now. Uh, JP Pauly and his team are ready to deploy, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that in a second. We have Incy Vinci, who is yep, not having any, um, not having any material in her backpack. She's going to carry quite a bit. Let's go. All right, we landed. So, what's the plan? We're in the middle of the mist. And that per definition means hundreds of re, uh, respawns. We don't want to mingle with these guys. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, do we have Ready. any frenzy on anyone? Ready. No, we don't. Let's show them what we can do. We got an infiltrator. And basically a heavy. Pushing on. Plus a soldier who can dash, which we should liberally use. Never give up. Open up. Heck, that's important. Oh, purification grenade. That is important. I love those. Here comes the Phoenix. Good. Going into cover. Already two enemies over there. Both of which are not very nice. Double time. Hostile spotted. I'm going. Placing a decoy. <clears throat> In the meantime. Let's fly over here. Let's do this. Get into cover behind the chest. More tech. Oh, we don't have the actions. Okay, well, it is what it is. Climbing up here would take a lot of actions. Like the wind. Might as well get our front line going. Eyes peeled. There is almost nothing that we can hit from here. Tell you what, we're overwatching. Aiming. On my way. Aiming. These guys here are problematic, so... Let's hit them first. <laughs> okay, well, can't hit through his head. Okay. 
Moving to coordinates. Good, moving over here. Pistol overwatch. Yes, please. Not yet done. Here. Pistol overwatch. Yes, Rolling please. Position. Now we're done. We hit the Triton, but didn't seriously injure them. More shield bearers. So far we're okay, like it's not the ultra hardcore enemies that I was expecting. Sure, they are also not fun to fight against, like none of them are, but we're actually quite okay. More will points would be great. Ready, willing, and able. I'm wondering, should we just like go here and then jump out next turn? This will give us quite a bit of cover. Yeah, I think that's that's the play. to fire. Good, we can always run back, right? Right. So let's place another decoy here. Yeah, we can't can't get that without without losing. We will take all of our action points in order to get there, and we don't have a sped up uh, version of getting down again. Takes too long for us to just get back. Okay, over here. As a matter of fact, we just need to defend for one more turn. Ready to engage. The guy is bleeding, 17 hit points, which means if I do a good job, I might even be dead. Okay, cool. Just kill his weapon? 
Yes, very nice. Okay, so that solves a lot of our problems. We can't really sprint no somewhere. What I can do is... Uh, yeah, can't... Can't hand stuff to the others. Moving fast. We'll just take what we got and call it a day. Sometimes that's the best way. Oh, these are the secret uh, melee fighters, or is this a resurrected enemy? No, it seems like a resurrect. It seems like a resurrected enemy to me. This guy just resurrected an enemy. Or maybe he plays the decoy. I don't know. Yeah, not good. We're losing action points with that. Okay, it's not just a decoy. Wow, it's actually quite quite a massive enemy. Alright, most importantly you can get out. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Oh, moving out. Before we're moving out, I want to make sure that everybody can get to safety. I'm on the move. I just need the right angle. I'm prepared. I'll take that. And what else do we need? This and this give us a lot of tech if we're <coughs> dismantling it, and it typically costs a lot to get that one right. Relocate. Okay, overall, okay. I'm, I mean, that was the safer version. The one thing that I learned about scavenger sites is just don't do too much. It was half of it for a very hard site. We got level ups, didn't get uh, injured, so it was actually positive. Could I have stood the ground and killed more of them? Absolutely, yeah. The team is actually quite good and I wanted to see the turret in action as well, but you know, sometimes it is what it is. It's not always clear if you can, uh, if it if it would make sense just to do more. This time we have 300 uh, tech, great resource, much more, much more valuable than the other two. Uh, we do have the purification grenade, which is one of the items that I definitely want to um, learn more about. And I think we wanted to use this team here in order to actually fly over there. Okay. Good. So as long as uh, they are here, we're actually getting plus four instead of plus one. That is great. 
but I already mentioned that it is time to prepare a couple of changes and that we will need to like plan ahead. Uh, we will move and trade and then pick up um, people before we start this mission. Let's search the site, pack and material. Oh yeah, we are better off again. Uh, yeah, we're ready for a pretty large scale assault here. Uh, since uh, the episode is too short so far, uh, we might uh, do the deployment now. And uh, think about the length of the video later. Spawnery needs to be localized and then we evacuate. That would be uniformly seen as a positive thing. So I want to do those missions. In terms of general outlook, uh, do we have enough ammunition? Ian has a good amount of uh, ammo. I'm wondering, shall we take those guns or shall, shall we take the laser, uh, the laser weapons? We do have the laser weapons and if I compare both of them, laser 180 to 160, so more overall damage. Longer uh, mid-range, which is important. And he's currently, uh, we're currently using him as a mid-range guy, but he becomes more of a close-range person in the future. Um, Ian, on the other hand, is all about going up in the face uh, using rapid clearance. Grell should become kind of a longer ranged uh, person. Heavy training does not include assault rifles, but she's actually proficient with assault rifles. So I wonder. Um, we also can't give her everything like. This I think is already good enough for now. We got a laser weapon already here for Euler, who is more long range. More shredding here. Yeah, I think the Scenarian laser sword rifle... It's great, but we currently don't need to use it as much. I think we currently don't need to use it as much. We're we're having <coughs> with the bulldog more shred, and on the other hand, he could have a higher like range with uh, the laser weapon. Do we really need a shotgun. I mean, the shotgun has. The very nice side effect that you could simply use it when you're close. <clears throat> it's good and it deals a lot of damage. It's not bad. I would say it's okay. Let's stick with the Bulldog. I think for since we don't have uh, too much shredding on uh, him, it's actually fine. All right, we landed. What are we dealing with? Got one of those guardians. Got the spawnery right over here. So that should actually work re reasonably well. Starting with frenzy on everyone.
in terms of moving. This guy will start to sh uh, scream. And we're definitely within reach, unless we're jumping over. And there are a couple of enemies for us. Okay, well, how far does this reach last? Not far enough to hit us here. So we're good. Dash one. Dash two. See, that's the cool part about uh, the prime team here. We're actually ultra fast. One, two, oh, there are more enemies. Okay, cool. Well, cover here looks good to me. Yeah, we don't want to uh, fight these guys. Instead, Grell just <coughs> runs up here. Pushing on. I can do it. Really fast. Almost to the crate, which is great. Billy dashes up. Moves up again. We're really not wasting a lot of time, we're just moving into position. Start with very simple mechanics. Club to the head always works. Ian is uh, paralyzed in fear, that's not good. <coughs> Could move up, but not as far as I wish we could. Tell you what, I'll I like to test that ad adrenaline rush. Oh, yeah. 
pretty good. No. <laughs> Need to work on hitting stuff, but it's actually quite good. No. Just need the right angle. That stupid machine gun needs to go. Because that's the type of gun that is giving us a hard time. They could be anywhere. Got a siren over there, but we'll take care of it next turn. Moving up here. This guy is disabled. I know there was a second one behind, but can't really do much about that now. Second arm gone. And let's put a sheep down. So there is plenty of ammunition. I'll take the one that I think we will need later. If we were to hit our war shout, uh, we would not be able to hit uh, the siren, which is unfortunate. But it can't see us either, which might be a little blessing in disguise here. Good, end of turn. We easily dismantled three of them. This guy's bleeding. Poison spit. Yeah, I feared that that might happen. Still not dead. Okay, we're boring our shield. Healing up. Just get that uh, guy down. Very good. We unfortunately lost our war scream ability here. We can be mind controlled, so I want to be careful not to kind of force too much.
because we still got uh, the option to jump back out of range. We'll we'll do that in a second. Heading out. I will need that ability marked for death in a second, but for now... Hitting her already is good enough. Ian is a prime candidate for a mind control, so we're going out of range for that. And Grell is stunned because she has used uh, her ability last turn. completely unnecessary. Moves up here. Still not dead. You just kill them and you kill them for good. got will points from that and the, let the chain killing begin now insert music that I typically don't listen too much bye, to bye, but bye. it would fit the uh, the situation here very oh. well um, system of a down uh, let the body sit the floor would be exactly what's going to happen very soon Open up nicely. Yes, we want to aim. Good. Where is our master of disaster? Everybody gets strategy. And we're rushing up all the way to here. That thing is big enough to hit it from a mile away. Ranks moves up. We haven't even used the cool new skills that are giving you uh, ability points back. Effectively, all we did was charge in. Uh, 
I wonder, can the hatchery even defend itself? Not really, I'm not so sure. Well, it, won't, it soon won't be able to defend itself, I can tell you that much. Dashing ahead. The Prime Team definitely is absolutely fantastic. Alright, so... Let's get that guy down, shall five we? By five. Mark for death. There you go. You're marked for death. Uh, for death now. Um, uh, how are we shredding him? I think we had a berserker. Not enough will points to to break that guy. Well, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I want to be a bit mindful if we're not using grenades. At the moment, we don't need to. If we're not using grenades, that'll actually uh, save ammunition, and that means less costs. I know it's a bit metagamey, but... Well, that was disappointing. Because the thing already has eaten 240 hit points worth of damage. <clears throat> Moving over here. There we go. The egg pods are the way to go, guys. The egg pods are the way to go. Ready to fire. Hostile wounded. It's now bleeding for 400. Okay. All right. Shell is a little bit hard. Hmm. I think we're better off with actually giving it the proper shot into the body. Okay, everyone has used uh, their action. Enemies are currently not spawning, which I appreciate a lot. Spawnery itself has lost all of its eggs and it's now bleeding for 400, has 422 hit points. It's now bleeding for 500 and we're ready to move out of here. Big fat hit with the uh, with the gun. That is good. And there it finally goes down. The animation when it dies was hilarious. Okay, one more turn, and we're out of here. Yeah, 
we killed the enemies so fast that their respawn is still waiting to come in. Minimum damage for us. Try to be conservative with the ammunition. And that Mark for Death ability is just fantastic. But so are many of the others. I can definitely see why I'm struggling with the lower tier teams as opposed to these guys here. Everybody gets 5 SP and we're kind of making our way to to level 7. I also understand for the first time, because I've never thought about it, uh, the actual mission XP will be divided up amongst uh, the people that were doing the mission. So when we take 500 XP, all we get is really sort of 80, 83 XP per person. Good, we killed we killed these guys. Um I think we need to still fly back because of many reasons, but mainly someone needs to look after Africa. And that might be the prime team. Instead of understanding that survival now depends on adaptation and cooperation, these raiders have kept the ways of the old world, greed and conflict. Um, the Exalted has decided that this must stop. Okay, wait, 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 whom do we, whom have we brought here? Oh, I see, okay, so that's, that would be team number three, medical number three. Marksman to improve uh, to improve our aim. That's good. I would like to get a second class. So Kyle currently needs to stay as is. Has 200 hit points, so that's good enough. Yep, not enough for a second class yet. And same here. Albeit. We might need might need a little bit more hit points. 180 is pushing it. 200 was actually fine. Many things steal like 180-ish hit points. Oh, okay. Look. Oh, I see. Huh. Hmm. Is this indicating that New Jericho attacks the Pandora Nest? Can we just piggyback on that? That would be so awesome. That really looks good. Thunderbird of New Jericho. Complete. Couple of things. Um, that's a new haven. What exactly is this here? So, if we trade, get a lot of material, that's good, I like it. <clears throat> they might be able to...
attitude change in 4D. Does that mean four days? Hmm, okay, I need to destroy those. Good, we've now landed here. And we wanted to put inappropriate Murphy into Phoenix Point. And a Berserker into Phoenix Point. And we wanted to pick up from Phoenix Point. Ainroth. And if we're now flying over to here, I can see that there is a specialist here, so let's start the move. Tiamat is on the way. It'll take them some time to just fly all the way over, but they will get there. Start to explore, start to trade. Now that would be too expensive. Trading here, four for six is good. Research complete. Uh, dismissed as a tumor, telepathic noodle on the T cluster infect is an essential part of how the Pandora virus controls the victim uh, located in the cerebral cortex. Cluster is produced neurons. It should be noted that the cluster depends on the type of Pandorian. <coughs> Our research once again caused controversy to New Jericho. The existence of a telepathic uh, noodle is unsurprising. They have always seen infection on the attack of human will and made their relationship to the disciples of a new deteriorate even further. Great. To Sinadrian, confirmation uh, uh, that it's controlled by external verb is deeply shocking. To the polyphonic uh, tendency, it means coexistence is no longer as simple. Pandorian creatures must be liberated first, but the terraformers argue this is naive. Okay. Well, great, cool. Disciples of a new haters even more. And Phoenix... Uh, oh, no. New Jericho's attitude changes, but they like us more. So... See? That sucks. We just got... Uh, New Jericho, we just got New Jericho's uh, friendly, uh, we just got New Jericho's attitude change, but I now have confirmation that the game does not allow you to have more than two supportive factions. It just doesn't, uh, because we were at 24 and it just increased. But there is no change. Rescue soldiers. Uh, fight against uh, the Pandorans there. Um, that's interesting. Well, I guess we can do that next. And then there's another mission here. Yeah, I think that that'll be just our next mission. Uh, to be entirely honest, um, there is a follow-up mission here as well. 
second uh, initiation, uh, killing the raiders. And then there is uh, another storyline mission down here. Might even be worthwhile to build up a uh, base here, but we just can't afford that at this point. I want to be mindful, just juggling the resources that we do have. Plus, we've hired so many soldiers, I still need to update a few of them. Luckily for us, our training facilities seem to work, so that actually is a plus. That actually is a big plus. Some of them just got their next level. Even with the base abilities, you know, they are better than just putting in level one recruits in there because that would be unrealistic at this point. It's almost as if you're doing it um, in XCOM and go in with only rookies. Oh, that's not help helping e uh, either. Radiant Hope is a cool ability. Two will points at the start of uh, the turn. Nice. Term of uh, terms of research. Let's get that purification grenade. Yeah, we need more to reverse engineer the more complicated stuff, but the purification grenade actually is really good. Fire is just absolutely, absolutely hardcore. Best element so far that I've seen. I see no downside, it's just better than the rest. Good. We're going to soon then build a second Helios. And I can now see that with the production facilities, all of this here is becoming better and better. We got a mystery pella uh, still uh, going. We could use one more um, construction facility. Uh, can we afford that? Hmm. Nah. Second, let's focus on the important stuff. You are always good at spending the money, but you need to earn it as well. So we're going to go, uh, do this and this next, and uh, then the exploration site. So these guys will be plenty for busy. Whilst the prime team is just supporting everything. Phase one up here is another mission. Can't do that yet. That structure actually has been destroyed. Good, well done, New Jericho. Dope, I like it. And yeah, there are definitely, definitely a lot of uh, key missions over here, which team two will tackle, I'm sure. Also, we do have two aircrafts over here then. Just, yeah, searching through all of that. And two aircrafts on that side of the world. Very good. Um, if you want to take an aircraft into uh, into Saiken uh, Gross's channel land, the uh, ticket for that can be punched at the like button. Uh, just knock yourself out and see you in two days. Bye-bye.